China here coming to you from my channel that girl China with a Dollar Tree haul after a very or what feels like a very long time so it's roughly been a little over a week but I was um, sick with a cold or flu whatever I don't know and um, also you know very busy schedule and the house is coming along almost done um, furniture still in back order but what I'm gonna do is a walkthrough once everything else is done because I know the furniture is gonna take a little bit of time to get here, I'm being told it's COVID related. I don't know, um, but I do still have my old furniture, which is, you know, the furniture that I used to have, or still have rather from my um, prior decor. And it, it is kind of neutral, so it'll work with what I'm doing. Um, and then once I get the new stuff, I can always refilm, and or I'll be filming down there anyway. All right, to make a long story short, um, yeah, been busy because of decorating, work schedule, and also being sick. So, Anywho, let's dive right in because I am going to be doing a giveaway. Um, the yellow uh, tote bag was claimed. It's been sent out. Um, I believe they received it. I haven't heard from them. Um, but also, uh, I'm going to be doing a new giveaway. So stay tuned to the end of the video because we're going to cover that uh, towards the end. Okay, so in no particular order because I did not organize this prior to filming. I've got a cute little book um, called uh, From the Bloomers Island Collection. So these seems to be a new book series. There are five books that come in the series, this one being Violet, um, and it says that it's, it's having to do with a garden, and I just thought the artwork was really pretty, or the illustrations are really pretty. It's showing you the books that you can collect. These are the other four, and Cynthia Wiley and Courtney Carbone are the writers, and the illustrations are by Katya Long, Longhi, Longhi, I'm not sure, but it does come with stickers. Um, they're at the very beginning of the book. I thought this was really pretty and you can also you know name it it's that you know this book belongs to and it's flower or garden and theme so that's um, what I why I picked it up I like the illustrations I thought it was cute and I plan on donating it to MD Anderson if you didn't get a good look at the stickers here they are and it's just basically the characters that are in the books so um, if you like reading to your children you have younger children at home you're looking to add books to their collection um, be on the lookout for the Bloomers Island series of uh, gardener related books. Okay, another item that I picked up were these googly eye stickers. Do I need stickers? Absolutely not, but they're so cute and I do plan on donating them. Um, and they're just so cute. I mean, it's the eyes, the eyes that do it for me. You got these big giant googly eyes and these little animal characters. Like here's like a burglar, like your quintessential burglar outfit. You have a little puppy here, an alligator, um, what looks like a raccoon, and they're just so cute. So look at him. Oh my God, he's so cute. This reminds me of my middle son who dressed up as a burglar in a burglar costume um, this prior year for Halloween. And he's just so, I would post this picture, but he would kill me. Um, he, they, do not, they do not want to be on film. They do not want their names mentioned. So I'm respecting their privacy. So that's why I, try never to mention their names um because they're like that's your thing you know if you want to do that that's fine but you know just kind of leave us out of it hopefully one day i'll be able to convince them and maybe we can get them on camera maybe um don't think that'll happen but i will certainly try okay so another item that i picked up were these 30 sheets of crayola construction paper and it comes in a variety of 10 colors so i picked this up mainly for the um crayola crown uh, theme giveaway which is coming together it's basically done this is the last edition that I'm gonna put in there and I'll be doing that giveaway very soon um, the giveaway that I'm doing today is purple um, in theme and so all the items that are in there are basically either have purple in them or are primarily purple in color and so those are gonna be going in there but this is gonna be going in the Crayola crown theme giveaway also if you have children that are in school or you like doing crafts with your kids at home, this is a perfect item to pick up. It's, it's a name brand, it's construction paper. If you have kids in school, you're definitely gonna use this product. Um, or if you know, sometimes it's rain, it's a rainy day, they don't have, they're bored, you need something for them to do, and you can pull out, you know, your little craft set. Um, 
what I used to do is when my sons were much younger, now they're in their 20s, um, I had like a tote, you know, like a tote uh, bin or whatever you want to call it. And I had like paint in there, markers and color pencils and construction paper, and a scissor, all different kind of stuff, a glue gun, um, all different kind of items that were craft related. So if they had a project to come up, uh, you know, at school, um, if they were bored or for whatever, we had it ready to go and I would just pull it out and we, you know, get to crafting or get to making um, you know, stuff for their um, projects at school. Cause they always would tell me like at the 11th hour, it would be like 11 o'clock at night, you gotta be at school tomorrow. And like, oh, I have a project that's due and it's due tomorrow. Okay, well, thank you for letting me know um, at the 11th hour. But the good news is that I've prepared for this situation. We have all kind of stuff and all we gotta do is slap something together um, till the unholy hours of the night. But if you're a parent, you probably have experienced this. And so it's a good idea just to kind of pick up these items and just have them on hand for such an occasion. Okay, so now let's dive into like some food. Um, this right here, the reason that I picked it up was because I was watching another YouTuber and I want to say it's Thrifty Tiffany. I'm pretty sure. So this is Baker's Harvest Thin Wheat, which is a play on the words or the, the product Wheat Thins. These guys, as she said, and I wanted to check for myself, they taste identical to Wheat Thins. However, uh, the actual price of Wheat Thins is, I want to say like two something, two dollars and some change for the same size box. You're getting seven ounces or 198 grams of thin wheat, same size, same texture, same flavor. They are identical to Wheat Thins. They're so perfect for like putting in dips, um, you can put them in salad and soups. You can just snack on them because they're so delicious. And these taste identical. I cannot tell the difference. If I did not know better, I would say these are wheat thins. They're not. They're only a dollar. If you've not tried them, I would highly recommend that you try them. Um, save yourself some money. And if you're at the Dollar Tree already and you like wheat thins, pick up the Baker's Harvest Thin Wheats. This box is actually empty. I have been... I was trying to hold on to stuff to... Um, haul it but you know but i got sick and then you know all this other stuff was happening and i'm like i'm hungry and so i snacked on them and now they're gone but i kept the box because i wanted to make sure that i brought it up in case you guys haven't tried it um uh, do pick them up if you like wheat thins i promise you you will not be disappointed they taste exactly the same okay so now let's talk about fall items because as you know if you've been watching me for a while um, I'm putting together a fall related giveaway in this beautiful brown bag that I picked up at a grocery store. Yes, a brown bag. I was so excited. I showed it in a prior video and it has like a um, orange kind of like a gingham kind of striping to it or design on the brown bag. And I'm like, oh my God, it looks like fall. I haven't seen a brown bag since I was a kid. I was so enthused about it. And I was like, you know what? This would be the perfect little bag to put, um, the fall themed giveaway items they like marry well so um i'm putting it um in there and it even has little handles it has little handles so anywho enough about that um i picked up these beautiful giant sunflowers which i'm sure you guys have already seen um and it has this large sequence center and it's look how pretty this is and it comes with an alligator clip so you can throw this onto some jute twine and make yourself a garland and even clip pictures to the little alligator clips, or um, you can use these as um, placeholders um, at the dinner table. You can also use them as um, napkin rings. That's just some of the ideas. Also, if you wanted to put them in, um, what would be another thing? Obviously the, uh, what are those things called? The ones you hang on your door, not garland. It has a name y'all. You hang them on the, a wreath. A wreath so one of these is going to be included in the giveaway and one of them i'm going to keep because i'm not going to be decorating the house for fall this year um, because i've put so much energy into just redecorating the entirety of the house so um we'll do that for next year i'll set it aside but um i did do the exterior like the front door we got you know fall flowers out there a wreath a rug you know so on and so forth um, so i did do a little bit of the outside i'm just not gonna be doing the inside this year um, because I'm trying to get this other decorating underfoot. Okay, another item that I picked up are these three small pumpkins. And they're, you know, it's I, I guess it's kind of hard to gauge the size here. But here's my hand for reference. 
hopefully that tells you something um there's three of them they also come in orange i picked them up in this off-white kind of speckled design and the same thing is that they have alligator clips and so you can add them to what i would do is you know like maybe get um jew twine create a garland you can even use like um the leaf garlands that fall leaf garland and you clip these ever so often you know you space them out evenly and you can clip pictures onto them and put them over your fireplace um or you can use them add it into you know um your uh, dinner table as placeholders um, so you can put names attached to these little clips you can put them as napkin rings or like we said earlier you can add them to a wreath and i'm sure there's a million one other things you can also detach them from the alligator clip and then glue them onto the top of a jar so it would be kind of like part of the lid for that jar um, so that's some things that i would do i'm going to include these in the giveaway and i picked up this really pretty um, crafter square two-piece ribbon and it just feels like it's almost heavily heavily starched um if you're like me and you uh, suck for lack of a better term at making ribbons these are already made they hold their place and they have like you know little twist ties back here that you can add them on to wherever you know your stairway um add it onto garland put it on the stairway put it over the fireplace add it onto a wreath they could also be um uh, placeholders at your dinner table and I'm sure you guys can think of a lot more things to do with them. These are going to be included in the giveaway. And I like how they're including that new hue of like that greenish bluish teal color with their pumpkins, with their patterns and designs for fall. I'm all over that. Not that I do not like the traditional colors, which is what we did outside, but the traditional colors wouldn't necessarily go with what I have going on downstairs. Um, I guess I could introduce orange and all that. I would prefer not to um, because the hues downstairs are like in browns and black and blue and um, that's kind of the look that we have and so I plan on using those type of colors or the blues, the off-white, um, those hues for my fall decor in the coming year since I'm not going to be doing it this year. But anyway, another item that I picked up was this cute little, what well, they're naming as decor, it's just a little sign and it says... Um, I love fall most of all. I know there's uh, the lighting may not show it up that well, but it's got a real pretty, like a watercolor background, the beautiful saying in cursive font or half cursive font. And this can be hung up. Um, so you can put it, you know, in a uh, collage of other prints, other artwork, um, or you can also just set it down in a bookshelf on a coffee table. Well, not a coffee table, maybe an end table. Yeah, I guess you could. Put it on a coffee table but this is what it looks like it's not wooden it's actually cardboard but it's pretty thick so it feels like it'd be fairly hardy um but those are the areas that i would put it in you know um a coffee table end table bookshelf um kitchen you can put it in your kitchen some people like to decorate above the microwave that would be a place to put it um some other items that i picked up were these metal words so we are getting three in here and it looks like it says welcome thankful and uh well duh it says it right here on the front welcome thankful and harvest so here are the words right here they're in a galvanized metal style and for you crafters out here i'm going to include them in the giveaway um, and if you're on the lookout because you like to add these to the front of pumpkins to your wreaths um, to your dinner table um, there's so many things that you can do with these you can add them to a frame um, where you're you know adding you know a picture frame where you're maybe putting a real pretty a photo of your family this would be another good idea for that uh, but these are going to be included in the giveaway and at three of them for a dollar i think that's a great deal now um also picked up these wooden color your own ornaments you're getting eight it comes with the twine so you can tie them up or the jute little twine here the little rope so you can tie them up and hang them now um some people put like a little bow here they paint them and then they attach them to different surfaces what i'm going to do is i'm going to paint them and then i'm going to hang them in the christmas tree now um if you recall i'm doing a um like kind of like a ski lodge kind of look downstairs like a cabin uh, downstairs look in my living room and so this is kind of going to tie into the theme of our christmas tree so i'm just going to you know paint them in winter hues i haven't decided how exactly but that's what i plan to do you're getting eight of them guys for a dollar you can also um, use these and write people's names on them 
and do, use them as place settings at your dinner, your Thanksgiving dinner table. Um, you can use them for garland. There's a lot of things that can be done with it. You can use this to make crafts with your grandkids. Um, I picked up 16 of them or two packs of eight. And so these are gonna be used for the Christmas tree. They also come in the shape of this really adorable fox. Same thing, I plan on using them in the Christmas tree. Um, I'm just gonna paint the fox. Rather than paint it in a hue of orange, I'll make it look like a wintry white kind of fox. And that's what I'm gonna be doing with that. Now it also comes in a pumpkin shape. And these are just some of the shapes. There are far more than what I'm showing you. These also come in eight, they're wooden. And it comes with a little rope here at the bottom. Hopefully you can see it. These are gonna be included in the fall giveaway. Okay, let me put the video on pause real quick. I'm gonna put some more items up here and I will be right back. Okay guys, and I'm back. All right, so um, another item that I picked up was this reindeer moss. And I actually saw this at other stores. I'm not gonna name them. Um, I don't wanna throw any shade or whatever, but it was like three or four times the cost of what it is a Dollar Tree. So basically you're getting all this reindeer moss for a dollar. I bought it because I got these um, really cute, like what I can only describe as like a gnome house. Um, I will show them when I video downstairs um, so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, but at, they were displayed at the Ashley um, Home Store, it's like a furniture store. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. And um, we were in there looking around and I saw it and they had these two little houses that are shaped like gnomes with their houses, okay? And they were set on top of moss. And I'm like, we wound up buying the houses. And um, so I needed the moss in order to replicate that look that they had. And so I saw it at other stores um, while I was doing some other shopping and it ranged about $3.99, $4.99 for about this amount. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure they sell that at Dollar Tree. Let me look at Dollar Tree. If they have it there, I'll pick it up there, um, pay a dollar. Or if I don't find it, well, then I'll, you know, next time I'm in one of these stores, I'll, I'll pick it up. And sure enough, they have it for a dollar. So this is great if you're feeling like you're having to fill up like um, plants, you know, to cover up, like if you have silk flowers or faux flowers. And if you do those little fairy gardens or little gnome gardens or whatever they're called, um, such a cute idea. Or also if you make like faux topiary in your house, that would be something you could do with it. I'm gonna use it as a little base to set these little houses on, um, which I will show you guys are so cute. So cute, I walked in, I'm like, okay, so I guess I have to buy these now. This has nothing to do with the decor downstairs. You can place them outside, but we wound up putting them inside. But anywho, I'll show those pretty soon. Okay, so I also picked up this sign. It says, happy harvest, thankful. It comes with a metal leaf on it, which you can adjust. You just have to be very careful because you don't want to break it off. And I liked it, one, because it has that teal pumpkin. Um, so it has other colors being introduced other than the standard, you know, oranges and yellows and reds. Um, also because it has a chalkboard kind of look to it. This is going to be included in the giveaway um, amongst many other items, but those will be shown in a future video. But I thought it was really pretty. You can put it behind a wreath. Um, and some of you guys like to like build them up, like glue them onto other ones and make like a topiary ones or topiary shapes with these little pumpkins or recraft them. You can always, if you don't like this print or you want to double use it for something else, you can always take the back, which is a blank canvas and paint it or craft it any which way that you like. Um, but I do like the front of it. I like that it's black. Um, I like that it looks like a chalkboard and I especially like the color scheme, but I will be giving this away. Um, here pretty soon also picked up again same thing this little uh, ceramic pumpkin and it is in that uh, teal kind of color and that's why i liked it so this is going to be given away as well guys and this is roughly about the size of my hand about the size of a fist really pretty and it is ceramic um and that will be included i picked up this la colors color craze nail polish with hardeners it is, um, the number of the color is 612. And this is something they carry on the regular, but since the giveaway is in a purple theme, I wanted to include some really pretty nail polish. And it's called Purple Passion, is the name of this color. And so this is gonna be included in the purple giveaway. Also picked up these really cool ultraviolet uh, protection sunglasses. Yes, we're coming into fall, we're nearing the end of summer, but the sun is still out and you're still gonna need some sunglasses. And this had a purplish hue to it, so that's gonna be included in that giveaway. Also picked up this magnet. It says, I bake what's your superpower? 
I thought this was really adorable. Like uh, the little art on it, the cutler on it, and it's pretty, it's got some weight to it, y'all. Um, this is cute for like a little throwing gift. If you know someone who's, you know, maybe closing on a home, getting their first apartment, you wanna do a housewarming gift, you can throw one of these in there if they like to bake. Or maybe you just know someone who likes to bake and you just wanna get them a little magnet, or you like to bake. Be nice addition to your refrigerator. And super cute, and it's, you know, Here's my hand for reference again. I don't know if this does anything for you. I do it, I don't know why, but I'm using my hand. Um, but I'll, hopefully it helps. I um, also picked up these diamond three pack of um, nail files. I liked the pattern on them. And you guys know, obviously that Christmas is coming up. You know, obviously you have the holidays, birthdays. You know, if you wanna throw this in, in a, you know, a, what would we call it? Like a spa themed gift or a beauty, uh, kit gift um also if you want to throw these into some stockings if you do a um care packages i think these will make for great throw-ins i picked them up because i needed them the ones that i have now are just kind of worn out so it's time to get those upgraded also these were on my wish list um were these really pretty bowls and i picked up something very similar to this at home goods and they were 3.99 each now they varied in pattern and they're really pretty they're actually downstairs in the china cabinet but um, I, I saw these and they reminded me of those bowls that I picked up at um, Home Goods, And these to me would totally work for my son's apartment. He's got like an industrial kind of look um, to his apartment or to his, uh, his decor. These are microwave safe, dishwasher safe. And um, they're by, does it say? They had a whole collection actually. They did not have the plates, which is what I'm on the hunt for, but they had like, glasses i wasn't feeling the glasses but you may like them with this pattern on here they also like uh tall drinking glasses juice glasses and um the placemats they had i want to say that was it maybe kitchen towels um oven mitts but the only thing that i wanted were these bowls and the plates that go with them um, i did not find the plates i found the bowls i picked them up four and i'll be taking these to him or he may swing by and he can pick them up um, so if you're on the lookout for those really pretty, um, I think they're, you know, kind of like a neutral pattern. I, they totally go with my decor up here. Um, they go with my son's industrial look that he has. They would actually go with the decor that I have now downstairs. Um, but I have lots of bowls. I told myself to stop buying any kind of plates, any kind of cookware. I have no room for it and I just, but I'm obsessed and I can't stop myself. Okay. Uh, another thing that I picked up is this book called A Horse Walks Into a Bar by David Grossman. Now, um, I did not buy this book for the intention of reading. I do, I used to like to read, I don't like to read anymore, I don't have the patience for it. But what I do is I listen to books on Audible. So it's kind of like reading, not really, but the book is being read to you. So that's how I, um, you know, uh, read books, quote unquote. The real reason that I picked this up is because I use it for decor. So you could go to like a store, um, like half price books and go in and say, hey, I need to buy books by the yard, which is a term that's used in the interior design industry when you want books of a certain color and they sell them to you. Um, they'll sell you a certain amount of books at a really great deal and they basically look like this. So you said, I need books by the yard in the color cobalt blue and they're gonna give you a box of books um, I don't know, $25 and you get a, a whole array of books and they all kind of have this look to them. And you know, they'll come in the color that you want them to come in. I can do that, but I also could go to Dollar Tree. And what I do is I kind of lift the sleeve while I'm in the store and I check what the color of the book is. And I happen to need books in the color blue. So it doesn't really matter to me what the book is about. Um, what really matters is the color of the book and the color of the font. So I use it in decor to fill up bookshelves because, you know, we have a built-in, large, massive built-in bookshelf in our living room and I have to fill it up. So you have like, you know, plants and uh, I don't know, frames and all kind of different stuff, little decor things. And I also have um, some shelving in the entryway or the foyer of the house and there's shelving in the kitchen. So I've got three areas that I need to fill and this is where books come in. So these are great to just place in your, um, you know, your bookshelves or you can stack them and put something on top of them, a candle. You, know, you can stack them up and put, well, not necessarily this because the color is kind of matchy matchy, but you get the point. So that's what I do. I 86 this, I just throw it away. 
and then I keep this part and we put it in um, the bookshelf or wherever it is that I need it. Also picked up this one, which is a lifetime book. I'm sure this is a really great book and I'm sure the other one is a really great book in case you're looking for books to read or gift. Um, but I only picked this up for the purposes of decor because again, I needed books in hues of blue. And I really loved this hue of blue, so that's the reason that I picked this up. So I'm gonna get rid of the sleeve, um, and I'm gonna keep the book, and it's gonna go into our bookshelf for decor. Okay, so another item that I bought for decorating, and I'm not gonna use it for its intended purpose, is this picture frame. Now I have shown this picture frame before. Um, I have another one downstairs, um, but that one's on an end table. Um, in this situation, what I'm going to do is deconstruct it. I'm going to take out the back with the kickstand. I'm going to take out these little items right here using pliers. These are very easy to remove. And so I'm basically just going to be left with the frame and I'm going to frame the thermostat. So I attach, um, what are they called? Um, command strips on the back and then I adhere it to the wall and it frames the thermostat. So this is a really cool idea to do you know if you're um you know obviously every if you live somewhere where you have central air conditioning as we live in uh you know texas very 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 hot if you don't have central air conditioning or some form of air conditioning you will die literally because they even have cooling stations in the summer to prevent deaths from people that either cannot afford or don't have air conditioning in their home because the fans are not going to cut it here you have to have air conditioning so with that being said, you're gonna have a thermostat. And sometimes, there, you know, the device looks kind of unsightly. It doesn't look cute on the wall. So a real cool way to doll it up is you could put a frame around it. And there's so many different kind of frames. You could even, you know, if they have the little words that you can add here, you can add, you know, little flowers or whatever, you know, you can create it any kind of way. All you need to do is get a frame that goes with your decor. You can make it part of a collage and now the thermostat looks like a piece of art as opposed to a thermostat. Now they sell round frames as well. So if your thermostat is circular or round, just find a round frame and you stick that sucker right over there and you do it with command strips and you can always change it up if your decor style changes. Also, these are great to put around peepholes. So if you have, you know, your front door has a peephole, ours doesn't, it has glass in it. Um, so that's how you can see who's outside. Um, but if you have a peephole, you can also, again, remove all the little backing and all you need is a frame and you attach command strips and you can place it around the peephole on the inside of your home and it just makes it that more decorative. It gives it a point of interest. The door has another element to it. It just looks cuter. The peephole idea I actually got from friends. They do that in the girls' apartment. They have um, a little gold picture frame around the people and I borrowed that idea from there. And then when I saw that, I'm like, oh, you can put it around the thermostat. So when I was staging models, I would buy frames and put them around the thermostat and it looks so cute. So that's what I plan to do with this. And I believe that's everything in terms of my haul today. Now let's talk about the giveaway. So I'm gonna be right back because I'm gonna pull those items out and I'll let you know what you need to do to be entered and what day I will be drawing names. Okay guys, and I'm back. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing, like I said, a purple or lavender in the family of purple, the color purple uh, themed giveaway. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refilm or I'm gonna film um, a video on Sunday of this week, Sunday the 29th. And so you'll have until Saturday the 28th to enter the contest. Now, if you wanna enter the contest, you have to be 18 years of age or older. Um, you have to be a subscriber and reside in the USA. Um, and you'll need to put hashtag purple passion, hashtag purple passion in the um, comment section of this video. Um, by Saturday the 28th, drawing will be on Sunday the 29th. All right, first things first, I have a scrunchie named brand Scrunchie, and it's in this shimmery, glittery ombre style um, in purple, use a purple. So a scrunchie by the name brand scrunchie. And again, it has like an ombre look to it. So it's got like a lavender or purple. So different hues of purple. Also gonna include this fashion elastics. It is in the color purple and also for your hair. And it's got this little pearl design on the side. This is gonna be included as well. Also gold toe fashion premiere socks. 
And you know these socks cost like seven, eight dollars for a single pair of socks. This is a name brand, Gold Toe. I've seen it at different department stores, including Kohl's and JCPenney's. And um, these are gonna be included. It's in the color purple and also has these beautiful um, lavender, like a lilac color roses, really pretty. And so the scalloped edging also on here is really pretty on the top of the sock. So those are gonna be thrown in there. Also a scarf by the line Juncture. And you can tell the design, you have purple striping and blue as well as other colors. And it has little tassels at the bottom. Just makes it that much more cuter. Um, so that's gonna be included. We have a pen with this, um, what is this little material called? This boa feather style. It has a mermaid tail. And the pen is in a like a lilac, lavender, purple color. And of course, if I'm giving you a pen, you're gonna need something to write in. So we have this tie-dye in hues of purple. It says, live your dream. And also this one that says, be you with this beautiful floral print. Both of these are by Crown Jewels. The pages are lined in um, both notebooks or journals. So these are gonna be included in there as well. And a mood board, um, which has little pegs and a kickstand. You can put this on your desk, in your cubicle, or wherever you want to place this in your bedroom. It says, today's mindset, you'll put a peg to decide what today's mindset is and how one can help you with that mindset. So the pegs are included in the back right here. And this is in hues of purple. And there's that kickstand where you can stand it up. Also going to include these um, two-piece set key rings. And it says BFF and it has like a really light lilac lavenderish color. I don't know how it's appearing on camera, but it's got a purplish color to it. And so I'm going to include these as well. Sharpie Mystic Gems in this lavender color. Also Body Edit Firming Caffeine Body Mask with Coffee Bean and Nani Fruit Extract. This is going to be thrown in. Advanced Coloring Paisley Coloring Book. It's all different kind of paisley themed prints and the cover has a lot of lavender and purple and that's why I decided to include it. And a one inch binder with a beautiful floral print, the primary color being uh, like a lavender purple color. And you guys already saw the nail polish and also the sunglasses. And I'm gonna be including a Mega Glow lip gloss by Wet n Wild. And the name of the color is Amethyst, and it's a glittery lip gloss, real pretty. Color name is Amethyst, and it is by the brand Wet n Wild. That's gonna be thrown in there. And last but certainly not least, Midnight Jasmine Scented Candle with this beautiful little tassel. Love the print. It reminds me of my room. It actually reminds me of that pillow back there and that one over there. Um, and I do have something downstairs that's very similar. But anywho, real pretty light lilac, lavender kind of tassel here and love the print of the candle now what does it smell like it smells pretty good it has a lavenderish scent um but more so it's the aesthetics of it i think um, but it, in a bathroom this would definitely produce a smell not a big room but definitely like a bathroom a smaller room um, would be a great place for this and that's going to go in the giveaway so those are the items remember you have saturday the 28th to enter sunday i'm going to be doing the drawing and um sunday the 29th and those are going to be the items. You have to be 18 years of age or older. Remember, you have to be a um, subscriber. And five more giveaways coming up after that. But you do have to be a subscriber. So if you have not subscribed yet, I hope you'll consider subscribing so you can get all these freebies. Because I like to give the stuff away. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a wonderful, I believe it's Tuesday afternoon. Hope to catch you at the Dollar Tree. Bye, guys.